Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, I'm the last one now before the break, so I'm trying to make that a bit uh, quick. But I'm Jules Berg. Um, I guess I'm, uh, I'm several persons into one. First of all, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've started uh, 10 companies in Norway. It's uh, altogether, it's uh, 1,200 employees in six countries. Um, some of them has gone quite well. Some of them are not squarely, squarely scraping by. <laughs> I'm also an investor, or probably that would make me a fool. Uh, <laughs> you heard that from the earlier presentation. I do, however, don't think that the early investors are fools. I think they are uh, friends that are trying to help. Uh, so I'm also then the chairman of um, the Norwegian Business Angel Network. And uh, it's we're quite a lot of Norwegians that are trying to help. And it's never because of the money only. It's, but it's also, I have to, uh, I like to say that because money is part of the game. And it should be part of the game as well. So yes, investors want to do good. But they also would like to see that uh, what they invest in are, is successful. Being successful obviously means a lot of different things, not only money-wise. So therefore, the last, uh, last um, I would say, uh, thing I am, I like to call myself uh, a strong believer in, uh, and I, I like to call myself a positive believer in the power of innovation. So I actually have to be, differ a bit, uh, Bruce, with, uh, with what you said earlier. I think that uh, innovation is, is key, and I think that uh, the entrepreneurs or the intrapreneurs are or will see that their age is coming. If you look at the statistics over the last uh, seven, eight years in Europe, but also elsewhere, uh, most of the new jobs are created not by the big, large corporations, they are created by those companies that start out. And most people, when they start out, they start out being one, two, or three. Or like we heard from, from Nadia here, with fantastic. Uh, actually, I'm, I, I really did. I, I just want to talk to all the rest of you instead of being <laughs> standing here and, and talking about what I've done. Uh, but then I, I want to say that that, that is, uh, I, it, it's a fantastic time to be alive. I, I bet that anyone in the history, if they had the chance, they would like to be alive right now because of what we can do. Think about the power that we have these days. And, and then to hear, to hear that we are doing some amazingly stupid things, <laughs> historically wise. Uh, just a couple of days ago, we went from July to August. Do you happen to know why it's called July? You have, do you happen to know why it's called August? Do you happen to know why these are the only two months in the year that have 31 days next to each other? Julius Caesar, the first emperor of Rome, he wanted to have a month named after himself. If you're the emperor, you can get that done. So that it's only 2,000 years ago, isn't it? And then a few years after, they came a new emperor. His name was Augustus. Guess what he wanted? And they suggested that he should have 30 days because that, you know, that would have made things work a bit more smoothly. What did he say? No way. I want 31 days too. You know, look at what Julius got. So we are, as a world, still doing some amazingly stupid things just because of history. Uh, for example, the financial system we have in place is making, I'm also a business owner, so I mean, when as an investor, I know that any CEO in any company putting money into employees, putting any money into an employee, sending him, for example, on a seminar such as this, or as a training, trying to make him smarter. What is that? I would like to call it an investment, don't you? By the book system, that all Western companies are run by, it is cost. <laughs> People is a resource that you don't invest in by the 
system. Obviously, the investors are quite much smarter than that. So even when, when Google still didn't make money, after a few years, after having walked up and down the Silicon Valley, actually that much, that's not much of a walk up and down, it's pretty flat. Uh, <laughs> but, but you know, they, they, they were struggling for a bit uh, for two years because it wasn't really anyone that was interested in, in trying to invest in something that was not making money. But then most grand ideas, and uh, some of the ideas that you mentioned as well, uh, Nadia, and some of those ideas happening that, that you are now kind of looking into in, in, um, in what you're doing, obviously they are fantastic ideas. But again, how are we measuring this? And, and my point is that the system that we're currently running the world, the operating system we're running by, is actually stating that if I'm the finance manager of a company, I can get a bonus because I make a smart transaction. I can have a bonus of one million kroner. That would make me pretty happy. And hopefully it didn't make everything else look bad. But if I started Wikipedia, it's, it's no value by our standards. What a strange world we've made. Wikipedia, the, the, the part of it that's most well known, is not creating any value, so they say. Isn't that crazy? So hopefully, and I'm, 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 I've been looking forward to this event because I think that in this room and also hopefully uh, on the virtual community, there are probably some of these change makers. You are change makers. You are what I like to call uh, architects of change. And I think, I happen to think that as, as, uh, as a person, all of us, we have to do that choice. Do we want to be an architect of this change that the world is going through these days? Or do we want to be a victim of it? It's actually going to be one or the other. I don't think we can just do that. Well, I'm just going to stay there on the fence for the next 30, 30 years. We can't do that. So we have to jump down from the fence saying that, are we going to be architects of change? Or will we be victims of change? It used to work. What I did as a work, uh, as a job, used to work. What happened? And I, I, I hope that we can discuss this uh, after the break as well. You mentioned the, the, the massive online uh, open uh, courses uh, happening now. And, and it's, it's a fantastic thing happening. It's, it's basically a revolution for the education system of the world. When you used to have maximum 100 persons in the room and then you had someone uh, and he was teaching the room and now you can have 100,000 people and actually you can, you can as, a, as, a, as a pupil, uh, you can then pinpoint the guy or the woman that teaches in the way you like and then get him or her as your personal and you can even put the pause button when you want to. Think about that's, one, that's what, what that's going to do with our system. We're going to have a generation coming up. They're going to be so much smarter than we are. And hopefully they will be finding some new ways to, to solve this stupid thing about uh, uh, how we measure things. So hopefully, again, then, and, and by ending by that, success should mean a lot more than just making money. However, that is the fuel that needs to be there as part of what we're doing as well. So we need to keep that in mind, that, that uh, the money is part of the picture, is never the whole picture. Uh, my, half my week I spend as the, as the Secretary General of what we call Innovation Forum Norway, which is 75 Norwegian companies, everyone from Telenor to Statoil to uh, Shipstead, all the big ones, but also a lot of the small ones, and they're all in that forum because they understand that the changes that we know going through are much more massive than we have seen anywhere 
be earlier in the history. And hopefully you agree with those people that are in that room and saying that we believe still that we're only halfway to the future. Most there as, is as much innovation happening in front of us than what has already happened. And if you think about that, we are in for an amazing ride. So with that, I think there's a break happening, isn't that right? <laughs> yep. So uh, thank you. <laughs>